Hey everyone, how's it going? Aaron here with Double A Shaves and I am back again. Thank you so much for joining me today. I truly, truly appreciate that you took time out of your day to come watch my video. I really appreciate you, so thank you. All right, let's, so I got a pretty good amount of growth here, probably over a week if I were to guess. Normally I like shaving more, you know, I like shaving every day or every other day. Usually it kind of makes me feel like I have my, my crap together, you know, um, but I guess since I've been busy lately, it's been growing out a little bit. Um, but hey, that's okay. Uh, we're going to see if today's shave can do a good job of milling it down. And it's kind of funny. So uh, I have a Derby. I have a lot of diff different blades in my den. So this is a Derby Extra uh, out of Turkey. And I've heard many times before that it's one of like the worst blades ever. Um, and I don't know. I don't know if I've ever, I have a couple of Derby Extra Blades. I think I might have used one one time. And I remember doing okay. So I said, what the heck, let's just bust it out in today's shave and see how it does. So uh, we are going to do exactly that. So I got a Derby Extra inside my Razor Rock switch. Nice light razor, uh, pretty light handle. Typically, I go for heavier razors. Um, but you know what? I've shaved with this razor a couple times and... It's a pretty efficient shaver. Um, it's not too aggressive, but you know, it's not too mild either. I think it's kind of somewhere in the middle. Um, and yeah, I do like Razor Rock. Um, really good razors at really good prices. And this one can also, if you take the handle and you screw it onto here, this one can also actually turn into an Italian style straight razor called a Razorine. Um, I still really need to practice with that. I suck at it, so I'm just going to use it in the normal uh, DE version today. Um, but really cool idea for a razor, how it can kind of turn into that uh, Italian-style straight razor there. So, yeah, we're going to see how the Derby Extra does in that today. Uh, let's see, soap for today. So this one comes from Eric over at Better Every Shave. So this is Master Soap Creations Ruby Forest. So him and I, we did a soap trade. I think a few months ago, and this is one of the ones that he sent me. So I'm really glad he sent it to me because, well, one, I like the scent on it a lot. And two, this is my only Master Soap Creations soap. I don't have any other Master Soap Creations, so um, this is my only one. And so I'm really happy that uh, he sent that to me. So thank you, Eric, for the Master Soap Creations Ruby Forest. Uh, towel based soap used about half the sample here in today's bowl lather, which I will show you here. Alright. Yeah, really, really look at that. Really awesome lather here that uh, I whipped up with the PAA Amber Air Light Synthetic. This is one of my newer brushes and it's got a really nice handle. I can grip this thing really well. Uh, really nice, soft, synthetic knot. Look at that. Really, really awesome. Man, this stuff lathered up great. It is a little bit thirsty. I did find that I had to add a pretty decent amount of water to kind of get it to where I want it. Usually what I look for is I look for my lather to kind of have have a sh nice sheen to it, like a nice hydrated sheen, but also have still have some structure to it so it's not too runny. And to get to, to, get to that consistency today, I did notice that... Um, it required a decent amount of water, which is fine. You know, I enjoy the bowl lathering process. It doesn't bother me. It's just kind of something I noticed. Um, but yeah, look at that. Nice, thick, fluffy, hydrated lather with a nice sheen today. So yeah, really, really awesome. Um, and aftershave splash. So decoration grooming, use your rose patchouli. So the reason I picked this splash is it kind of has some similar notes to Ruby Forest. And I've ran it down. It's kind of hard to see in there. I have ran it down a little bit. Um, and I do also have the soap of Yuzu Rose Patchouli. And it's kind of funny. So this is actually not one of my favorite scents. My fiance likes the scent a lot. It's not one of my favorites, but I decided to give it a go today, you know, because it kind of pairs well with the Ruby Forest. Um, and I'm just going to give it another chance. You know, the last couple times I wore this, it really wasn't my favorite. Um, the soap, at least, has a really punchy rose to it that is not my favorite. But 
This one has a little bit more of the yuzu citrus, which I kind of like. A little more of the yuzu comes out in the splash, so. Yeah, I do like the scent of the splash better than the soap. Um, it's not my least favorite scent in the world, but it's definitely not my favorite. But I figure with spring coming around the corner, um, we're just going to give this another go. I do like Declaration Grooming Splashes a lot. There's a whole huge list of skin food in there that I just really love. His splashes were always one of my favorites. So, um, so we're going to go with that, and who knows? Maybe my opinion will change on it once I see how it smells on the skin, but, um, you know, it's okay to sometimes use products where the scent isn't our favorite. Um, cause I don't know about you guys, but my thoughts on certain scents, they're always kind of changing. Um, you know, kind of as my nose matures throughout this hobby. So, uh, yeah, use your rose patchouli. I know a lot of people are fans, huge fans of it. It was never my favorite, but we're going to see how it goes. So, all right, well, enough of me rambling here. I'm going to go ahead and get the face hydrated. And I say it in every video, but I'm not a pre-shave guy. I don't feel like I need it because these artisan soaps are, they're good enough where I just don't think I need it, you know? And I've also heard from some people that, uh, you know, the mixture of the pre-shave and the soap, sometimes the pre-shaves don't mix well with the soaps, I think, depending on the ingredients. And it kind of makes the consistency of the soap all weird, so I want to try to avoid that. Um, really, really nice lather here with the Master Soap Creations, so... Um, if anyone like can like link me to their to their website, I don't even know if they have an actual website because I was kind of googling Master Soap Creations and like stuff like the Razor Company was coming up and West Coast Shaving, um, but I didn't see that they had an actual website. Maybe they do. I just didn't look enough. I don't know. But um, I mean, it's all good. It's not a huge deal. It's just something I kind of noticed. All right, looking really, really good. Nice fluffy lather here, just how I like it. I don't like it too runny. I kind of like it when it's pillowy like this. You know, pillowy with some nice hydration. So that's that's exactly how it's looking today. Um, and this is great. So one thing I recently noticed about Master Ship Creations. Let me get the mustache here. One thing I recently noticed is that it is one of the best deals in wet shaving. So, uh, every jar of Master Ship Creations is 5.9 ounces. Um, and the price I saw, at least I think on the Razor Company, it was $14.99 for five, a 5 ounce, or a 5.9 ounce tub of soap, which is... like pretty close to Sterling's deals, you know, and Sterling has like the best deals. Sterling is, uh, what is it? 5.8 for, uh, like, I think it's like 1450 right now or something. So it's, yeah, so this is really rival, this is really rivaling, rivaling, I don't know, I can't talk today, Sterling, but you know what I mean? Um, yeah, it's really competing with, you know, Sterling's deals. So, um, that's just awesome. I really, really like how Master Ship Creations offers good, affordable soaps. And it's my first time using Master Ship Creations, so, um, it lathered up pretty good, and I'm sure it's gonna perform pretty good. So, to have a soap at that deal, man, I'm a fan. That's just awesome. Let's go see how the Derby Extra does in this Razor Rock switch. I do love this razor. Um, I use it a number of times off camera and it's just, it does kind of have a bulky head to it. Um, but it's all good. I mean, it is like a really smooth. I 
efficient shaver, at least with a... I used a feather in it last time and it did good. Um, and you know, so far this Derby Extra is doing okay. I could, I am noticing that it's not as good of a blade. Um, a lot of people say this is like the worst blade ever. Um, and I can already tell just from that, that it's like really, I have a good amount of growth here. So I can already tell just from the beginning of this shave that the blade isn't doing the best job here. It's not doing horrible. I mean, we're looking pretty smooth on both sides here, but I don't know. I just really wanted to use the blade because people kept talking smack on it, so. All right, but so far so good. Nice, comfortable shave here. All right, so Ruby Forest. So that's kind of a cool name. Yeah, that kind of caught my attention when uh, Eric showed me his collection. I'm like, oh, Ruby Forest. Let me get that. So Ruby Forest is an homage to Dunhill Red Desire. Um, I'm not a huge cologne guy, so I really don't know anything about that. I've never smelled it. If anyone has, um, let me know. I'd be curious. Um, so we got apple, lemon, neroli, bergamot, rose, teakwood, patchouli, vanilla, and musk. <laughs> so that's a really interesting uh, set of scent notes there. Because at least I feel like you don't really see vanilla and musk mixed in with uh, the citrus notes, like the lemon neroli and the bergamot. At least I don't really feel like I see it a lot in the wet shaving world. But I tell you what, it's a really well blended scent. It's definitely, definitely a well blended scent. When I first smelled this, I really enjoyed it. Um, I would say it's a crowd-pleasing type scent. I don't really think anyone would dislike this one, so. Um, this Derby Extra isn't doing terrible. So it's well blended for sure. I think to my nose, I definitely, oops. Uh, the citrus notes definitely jump out at me. Kind of pursed, like the, I think the lemon, naturally like the lemon is really, really pres pleasant, present off the top. I cannot talk today, man. Um, Yeah, I would say that like the lemon and the bergamot are definitely present, like the citrus on top. Uh, I get a little bit of the the rose in there, maybe the patchouli. I get like a little hint of that dry woodiness from the patchouli. Um, so yeah, mainly the citrus notes, the rose, the patchouli, and a little bit of the apple because there is some there is some fruity tartness mixed in there. So I'm guessing that's the apple. Um, Really great scent for the spring. Really well blended. Um, I mainly get like a sp spring kind of fruity thing going on with the apple and the lemon and the bergamot. Um, and then the the, floor, the rose like is like definitely a little bit present in the background. Uh, so really, really good spring scent. And the apple, but you know, I'm really not getting much of the vanilla and the musk. They probably just serve to soften up or, you know, like kind of round out the scent a little bit, but. Mm. 
really not getting any vanilla. Maybe like the tiniest bit of musk, but not really getting any vanilla at all. So it's probably just there in the background to soften up and round out the scent. But it's a really, really nice crowd pleasing spring scent. Really, really beautiful scent. Um, if anyone else has ever smelled Ruby Forest from Master Step Creations, let me know your thoughts because this one's good. I don't really think anyone would dislike this one. Really great for the springtime. Okay. Well, I could tell the Derby Extra isn't... I mean, the first pass was fine, but... You know, compared to when I use a blade like a Feather or like a Gillette Silver Clear, I could tell this is... It's not nearly as good. Um, but, you know, it's kind of fun to try products that... People don't think highly of, just so I can make my own opinion of it. But yeah, man, this Razor Rock Switch is a pretty efficient, smooth shaver. If anyone else has used this, let me know. It's going pretty good for me. Very lightweight razor. Probably my lightest razor that I own. Yeah, it's it's one of those razors. It kind of reminds me of the Mercur 34C. Like it's pretty, you don't really have to think too much when you shave with it because it's like, I'm barely thinking in this shave and it's like just easy to shave with. It's not really cutting me up a lot. Um, so I think it's kind of comparable to that. I think typically I prefer razors that are, are a little more aggressive. I am noticing on some parts it's like not even it's like barely hitting the skin <laughs> but it's giving a nice shave so Yeah, and I think the bulkiness is kind of an issue when you're trying to get under the nose here. So, it's not the perfect razor, but... It's not giving a terrible shape, so... All right. Well, great shave with the Ruby Forest. Nice push safe field. It's awesome that a soap that performs like this is so cheap. Uh, really, really awesome. Underrated company too. I think they're out of South Africa, but I don't really see a lot of people using Master Soap Creations a lot, so. Yeah, this is a really, really good scent on this soap. Good for the springtime, so. Let's get going with the Use Your Rose Patchouli aftershave, so. <sighs> yeah, 
Yeah, it's it's got this. I want to use this because spring's coming up. Um, so this one, the, the only notes are use your rose patchouli. So it's kind of similar to Ruby Forest. Ruby Forest has the the rose and the citrus note and the patchouli. Um, so this one is a kind of in a similar ballpark, but the rose is a lot more present. I would say it's the rose first and then the citrus in the back. But, um, yeah, I think the rose is a little, little bit too punchy for me. And use your rose patchouli. I know a lot of people like this, but um, my fiance likes it. So we'll see how it is on the dry down. <clears throat> All right, well, looks like, looks and feels like a good shave with the Master Tip Creations Ruby Forest. Really, really awesome stuff. Uh, thanks again, Eric, for shooting this one my way. Um, well, thank you for tuning in, guys, and for everyone who's been subscribing. I really, really appreciate your time. Um, and I'm excited with spring around the corner here. Uh, things are going to starting to do more outdoor stuff, which we're excited for. So um, anyway, I'm going to cut it there, guys. So I hope everyone has a good rest of your week. And thank you again for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care.